Hiya, this is the third lesson, and it's using harmonics to solve the equations. There. Right, now then, let's have a think about this question. There's different, well, there's equations that look the same, but aren't. So if you had an equation that said 7 cos squared x plus 3 sine x is 5, I know with that equation, I could change that into 1 minus sine squared x. And then that would give me a disguised quadratic. Because of the cos squared. So it's not one of them. So it's not one of them. It could be that I just had 7 cos x plus 3 sin x is equal to 0. Now if that was the case, so if all it's got is a sine and a cos, I could rearrange it. I could have it as 3 sin x is minus 7 cos x. And I could rearrange it to make it into tan. So I could have it as sin x over cos x is minus 7 over 3. So that's a possibility of what an equation could look like. So these are different, these are slightly different, and it's how you deal with them differently. So this one would be like a tan x one. So these ones here kind of look the same, which means it's very easy to get confused and do it the wrong way. Now what I've got here is a harmonic is equal to a number. So if the harmonic was equal to zero, I could rearrange the tan straight off. If there was a power in there, I could use a disguise quadratic. But I'm not. I'm going to use this harmonic form. Right, so let's have a look. Cos comes first, so I must be using cos. So that's my, my thought process. Cos comes first, so I'm using cos. So to find r, r is just the square root of 7 squared plus 3 squared. Oops. There, which is uh, what we're on 49 plus 9 is root 58. So I don't think 50, root 58 serves down to anything else. So to find alpha, uh, so 10 alpha is the second number over the first number. So the inverse tan of 3 over 7 is 23.2 of the completed pack. So 7 cos x plus 3 sin x is really root 58. So cos came first, so cos goes down there. And if you remember, we said for sine, it's the same sign. So this one must be a minus 23.2. There. So what I've done is I've done the harmonics part here. So this here is like the harmonic bit. So I'm really saying that my equation isn't 7 cos x plus, oh, you change that future into an x there, is that it? It's that theta there, it's an x there. Isn't 7 cos x plus 3 sine x is 5? So I'm like, 7 cos x plus 3 sine x is 5. That actually becomes root 58 cos x minus 23.2 degrees is equal to 5. Which means now I can just do some, um, some normal trig on it. So if I divide through by cos 58, so I've got 5 over root 58, do the inverse cos, 5 over root 58. So you tell me what I'm solving between here. So from 0 to 360. There. So my calculator gives me uh, 49 dead on. Now, do you remember what we said about the fact we can cheat a little bit with our calculator? 
So if I do, hang on a minute, so we press X, escape. Mm, hang on. Hang on, press on that. And then press escape. Oof, it's not escaping. Hang on. You might press escape while we're doing this, but it's not escaping. It's escaping. Right then. So I'm going to graph root 58. Uh, I can graph it with the 5 or I can do the slightly rearranged one. So what I think I'll do is I'll graph. Hang on. I'll just undo the red boxes. What I'll do is I'll graph because of that with 5 over root 58. I don't have to worry so much about the stretch on the axes. So what we've got cos of, uh, what are we on, x minus 23.2, oops, and 5 over root 58. There. Change the axes. So we're doing 0 to 360. There we go. Right, so if I do this now, it should give me 49 plus 23. So it should give me something around 72 ish for the first one. There, 72.2. So from, the, from my calculator, I get 72.2 degrees. Do the next one, I get 334.2 degrees. So I just graphed, show you, cos of x minus 23.2, the bit on the left, against 5 over root 58, the bit on the right. I could have used above, I could have had root 58, cos of, and then 5, but I'd have to faff about with my axes to make sure I'd got my y axis going between plus or minus root 58. And that's it, so just graphed it. Got my answers off it. Job, job. Uh, let's have a quick look on this page. So that's the first example. There's a big example of the second one. So these are big, big trig examples, these. They're not easy. Do you remember last year me telling you, get the trig right, because when it gets harder, we need to have that, that basis. Right, we're on 7 minutes 51. I'm tempted to stop it there to do the, to do the next example.